Hello viewers, um, today I'm going to be showing off my new SDR dongle that I just recently got. Um, I just got this, so I'm still learning some things about it. Um, but, so that, as you can see, this is an RTL SDR version 4. Uh, yes, you, if I can hold the camera still, you can see the chips it has in there. Um, and as the Santana I bought separately. Um, so. This just plugs into a USB, and then I have a soft, the software program for it. As you can see, I will switch scenes in a second, but first I'm going to plug it in. Just plug it into my dock right there. Alright, and so now it's plugged in. As you can see, and so now I'm going to transition over to that. All right, well, let me turn my camera back off. All right. So, as you can see, this is the, the program that I'm using is AirSpy SDR um, Pound or SDR Hashtag or whatever you want to call it. I'll just call it SDR Pound. So, AirSpy SDR Pound Studio V1.0.0.1920. And it has the specific driver for the RTL USB. Um, as you can see, I have some frequencies programmed in here. Um, and all the FM frequent, all the broadcast FM frequencies we're not going to go over because I don't want to get copyright claimed. Um, so we're going to steer clear of those, but um, I can do uh, PNH61 here. Um, so I'm going to hit start. Temperature of 67 at North Fork, 69 at Sioux Falls and 59 at North Platte. It was partly sunny, with a temperature of 65 at Grand Island, 74 at Des Moines, 73 at Kansas City, and 62 at Denver. At Concord So if I zoom in a little bit here, you can actually kind of see it. So hold on. You can actually kind of see the waveform of Paul talking. All right, let me switch back. I'm going to mute my mic during this because that way um, you don't get, you don't hear it coming out of my speakers as well as it coming out of the, uh, what's it called, uh, audio capture. So I'm going to switch back. Ended outlook for the period Tuesday through Sunday, Tuesday afternoon and evening brings a high chance of thunderstorms and some may become severe with the primary threats being large hail and damaging winds. The combination of recent heavy rainfall and repeated rounds of thunderstorms through Tuesday will lead to a continuing flooding threat. Spotter information statement, spotter activation is not anticipated through tonight. This is NOAA All Hazards Radio Station KIH-61 in Omaha, Nebraska. The current time is 8.19 a.m. Central Daylight Time.
the Omaha, Nebraska Climate Summary for yesterday. So, I, and then I'm going to, so you can see um, the different waveforms or whatever. Let me move my cursor there. You can kind of see the different waveforms. Why is my cursor not showing up? Okay, there my cursor is, but you can see the different waveforms or whatever, or how it forms that. Um, I can show you an FM station, I can like show you it, but I'm not going to actually go into it because I don't want to... What the hell? There we go. So this is one of my local stations, 99.9 KGOR. So as you can see here, you can see the radio transmission coming from KGOR. Oops, I just switched to wide FM. You can see the up here, it actually gives you the radio data stream or whatever coming. So, like, um, similar to how my Sangian will show the titles of the songs and stuff, and also, like, how it does it in your car, it'll show it here as well. Um, uh, there is a... I don't think it's for this software, but there is some sort of plug-in you can get that decodes the HD radio, which is these bars right here, as you can see. Um, these are the HD radio sit carrier, um, and so these are digital. And this particular station has more than one HD channel carried in it. Um, if I go to like something that only has like one HD carrier, um, you can see it's kind of thinner. The bars are kind of thinner here. Um, so, I can also go down to AM radio. I have not been able to pick up uh, WWV or any of that because, I don't know, I probably don't have the correct antenna for that. I don't know. Um... Or it could just be where I'm at, or something. Um, or just my house. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I was trying to show you. Or that's all I have for you. Um, oh. You can see I do have some different widgets here that I can mess with. Um, I don't want to change too many settings because I don't want to break this because I got it working and I don't want to screw it up. So, yeah. Um, the main thing I'm excited to have this for is my severe weather streams because then I don't have to use, rely on noahweatherradio.org to be working. I can just plug this in and have it come in locally. Um, which makes my life a little bit easier because then I don't have to have like several different browsers open to capture specific things and other th cause yeah. So, but that's all I have for now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, um, there may be a video coming soon on my, on some other things. You can check out my severe weather streams. Um, if you like low qual, if you like low effort content, <laughs> you can check out my uh, some of my just gaming clips that I've posted from uh, our PlayStation or whatever. Um, I don't know if I've scheduled anything new yet, but um, I do have some other videos as well, but. Um, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and have a good day.